Princess Diana Bowman was whenever. Uh, another time, Sterling Hundred, seven hundred tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Your Eminence. Your Eminence, Your Excellency, Our Graces, it's a great honor for us to welcome you to our cathedral today. It's a very important for us event, and we would like to welcome you and pray with us for Ukraine, for our brothers and sisters that are suffering today during the war. It's an honor también muy importante recibir a un compatriota nuestro, posiblemente en nuestras sendas han sido en, en la Argentina, en algún lugar, en algún momento hemos caminado las mismas sendas y hoy el destino nos trae de haber tener el alto honor de recibirlo a usted en esta catedral. Bienvenido. Aquí, escuchar hablar español. Thank you. Thanks God.
Господи, Господи, спогняй их с неба, подвейся на радник, что насидел правительство Твоя, Господи. Хай буде рука Твоя на сине човечьему колтек для себя. Укрепи. Господи, спогняй их с неба, подвейся в народник, что нас следует пробить, Твоя, Господи, хай будет рука Твоя на сине, чи вечму, как ты для себя, укрепи. Господи, Господи, спогняй их с неба, подвейся на народник, что насидел правительство Твоя, Господи. Хай будет рука Твоя на сине, чи вечму, как ты для себя укрепил. Господи, спогняй их с неба, подвейся в народник, что насадило правительство Твоя, Господи. Хай будет рука Твоя, не сине чевичьему, как ты для себя укрепил. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Peace among men of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men of good will. Glory to God in the highest. It is time to act for the Lord now and forever. Blessed is our God now, always and forever. May the Lord direct your steps. Remember us, Holy Master. May the Lord remember you and your kingdom now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord open your lips and your mouth shall declare your praise. Amen.
Господи, спаси не душ наши, если вы помолим Господи, помни. О, милшу Госвету, добрый стан, святый Господи, церковь занавищи, Господи, вы помолим Господи, Святый храм, ты тебя сверят под Божьим своим страхом, Божьим сюда до него, Господи, вы помолим, что... Господи, помилуй! О, Рамас, Holy Universal Pontiff, Francis Pope of Rome, Рамас, Бьяк, Святослав, for his eminence, Leonardo, for His Excellency Eldolfo, for His Grace Emil, for His Grace Antoine, and for our God-loving Bishop Peter. Christ and all the clergy and people, let us pray to Lord. city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to you, for favorable weather from the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to you, for the seafarers and travelers, for the sick and the suffering, for those held captive and for their salvation. most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God, and ever Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For all glory, honor, and worship befit you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Mother of God and ever-Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Христе, Ти світло істини, що просвічує і сячує кожну людину, яка приходить на світ.
the light of your countenance shine upon us, uh, that walking in it we may see the light of your inapproachable glory. Прямой ступе наши нагило заповедей Твоих. Христос воскрес и Through the prayers of the most pure Mother of God, our, uh, of Christ, O oh, oh God, oh God, save, save us. us. Oh, yeah. 
na peče skobino, carsko pešnje u nas lidovala pogini, prisno slavno. Da osledite te to čast peče to. Bo te se te i se Bože naš, i te bi slavu slajemo, Ось чую істину і саму духу нині по всяк час. І на віки вічні. Що перейшов аж до Антіохії, 
Він прийшовши і побачивши благодат Божу, возрадувався і захочував всіх, щоб по велінням серця перебували в Господі. Бо він був чоловік добрий і повний Духа Святого і віри. І пристало багато народу до Господа. Варнава звійшов у Тарс відшукати Савла і знайшовши його, привів його в Антіохію і довелося їм цілий рік збиратися в церкві і навчати багато народу і вперше в Антіохії назвати учникам християнами. А з учників, оскільки хто що мав, постановили кожен... Що і зробили, ослався до старших рукою Варнави і Савло. і лагодності, і справедливості. Apostle and Evangelist John. May God, through the intercession of the Holy Glorious and all praiseworthy Evangelist John, grant that you proclaim the good news of the with great power for the fulfillment of the Holy Gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. From the Holy Gospel of John, let us be attentive. So he came to a Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, 
How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying it to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob who gave us the well and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. And the woman, the said, woman to him, said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come back. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worship on this mountain, but you say that the place where people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know. For salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is, the hour coming, is coming and is now here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. Just then his disciples came. They were astonished that he was speaking with a woman. But no one said, What do you want? Or why are you speaking with her? Then the woman left her jar and went back to the city. She said to the people, Come and see a man who told me everything I know about I have ever done. He cannot be the Messiah, can he? They left the city and were on their way to him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, Rabbi, eat something. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Surely no one has brought him something to eat. Jesus said to them, My food is to the will of him who sent and to complete his work. Do you not say four mouths more than comes the harvest? But I tell you, look around and see how the fields are ripe for harvesting. The reaper is already receiving wages and is gathering fruit for eternal life, so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap for which you did not labour. Others have laboured and you have entered into their labour. Many Samaritans from the city believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I have, I have ever, done. ever done. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them. And he stayed there for two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, we believe for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Saviour of the world.
Christos was Kras. Your Eminence, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri. Your Excellency, Archbishop Adolfo Ulana, Apostolic Nuncio. Dear brothers, brother bishops and priests, religious orders, and brothers and sisters in Christ. This is a very exciting day for us in our cathedral in North Melbourne. This is the very first time in our history that the prefect of the Eastern Congregation for, or for Eastern Churches has come to visit us. The last time the Apostolic Nuncio came to this cathedral was in 1993 uh, when I was installed the, bishop, the second bishop of this, this eparchy. eparchy. This is the first time that the bishop, Bishop Antoine, the bishop of the Maronites, Maronite Church in Australia have come to see us, and Bishop Nono, the, Apostol the bishop of the Chaldeans in Australia, uh, has also come to pay us a visit. As you know, the, Mar the Maronites come from Lebanon and the Chaldeans come from Iraq. There are five Eastern Catholic bishops in Australia. Welcome to our cathedral uh, of the Arch Apostles Peter and Paul. This beautiful temple was built by Ukrainian pioneers refugees under the leadership of our most beloved uh, predecessor, Bishop Ivan Preshko of blessed memory. It stands as a living monument to the glory of God and the unshakable faith of Ukrainian Catholics. 18,000 Ukrainian Catholics came to Australia in 1948-1950. Another 3,000 immigrated to neighboring New Zealand. Our people who survived the Second World War in Western Europe, unable to return to their homes in Ukraine due to the persecution by Soviet authorities, found a new home in Australia where they could practice their faith and, uh, pres and preserve their cultural heritage at a time when to do so in their homeland would mean death. Father Proshko arrived in 1950 and together with other priests ministered to Ukrainian Catholics across this vast land. Pope Pius XII established an apostolic exarchate naming Father Proshko as the first bishop in 1958. And in 1982, St. Paul, Paul, John Paul II raised it to the, to the dignity of the eparchy. Our, members have our numbers have increased throughout the de decades. Many families arrived from the former Yugoslavia and, and again in the 1990s following the tragic Balkan War. It was a great sadness that Ukraine is now in a war of defense on its territory territorial integrity. People are dying. There are over one million refugees in Ukraine and across Europe. A few have migrated to Australia. We are a church which detailed the uh, which with the detailed and close knowledge of war, persecution, and suffering. It is important for us to recall that so much of the 20th century we were members of the histories largest underground church, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. Some five million people were in the underground. During this time of persecution, it was the Ukrainian church in the diaspora which kept the world's attention focused on the mother church in Ukraine. It was the diaspora which defended and spoke 
and prayed for the underground church. Persecution, war, and tyranny of, of distance was, was, has never been able to shake our unity with uh, the mother church in Ukraine. Consequently, Ukrainian Catholics in Australia are very close to our mother church, headed by Patriarch Shetislav Shevchuk. We, are also, we also care and work for the refugees and immigrants in Italy, Spain, Portugal, and the rest of the world. We in Australia feel that it is imperative that these faithful sons and daughters of the Ukrainian Catholic Church be afforded the same pastoral care as their brothers and sisters in other parts of the world. During the Second Vatican Council, the Servant of God, Patriarch Joseph Slipe, stated that the Ukrainian Catholic Church had shed rivers of blood and mountains of bodies because of their loyalty to the Holy See. The martyrs and confessors of our church are witnesses uh, to our love for the Catholic faith, and this love continues today. His Eminence, uh, Your Eminence, please convey to the Holy Father our warmest greetings and gratitude. We thank the Holy Father for his prayers and for his care for the faithful in our church and for all of the Ukrainian people. We especially thank the Holy Father for his generous gestures of easing the suffering of so many displaced people in Ukraine. May this divine liturgy be an expression of our communion. We offer it for the intentions of the Holy Father and for peace for peace of the whole world and for unity of the holy churches of God, let us all pray to the Lord. Christos was Christ. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your Excellency, Archbishop Adolf Tito Iliana, Apostolic Nuncio to Australia. Dear Brother Bishop Peter Stasiuk, Bishop of this Eparchy. Your Excellencies, dear Brother Bishops of the Eastern Catholic Churches in Australia. Distinguished authorities, Reverend Priest, men, and religious women, sisters and brothers in the Lord. Christos fos crece. Christ is risen. With Easter joy we greet this morning as we celebrate the divine liturgy on the day of the risen Lord during the season that culminates in the outpouring of his spirit on Pentecost. I am glad to be with you, gathered, gathered around the altar of the Lord, at which we are nourished by his word and his body and blood, his precious gifts to us. Although only one part of the year is devoted to the celebration of Easter, we know well that the light of the resurrection continually illumines the Byzantine liturgy. I, I think of the beautiful hymn of Fos Ilaron, joyful light that accompanies the coming of darkness as the end of day. It reassures us that the gloom of night will not prevail neither in our lives nor in the life of the Church. No, for Christ, our risen Lord, has already triumphed over the world of sin, violence and darkness of every kind. I like to express my cordial greetings to He has His Beatitude, the Major Archbishop Sviatoslav Sepchuk of the Greek Catholic Ukrainian Church. For him we pray also in this, this holy liturgy. This coming towards the light 
is also the experience at the heart of, of today's today gospel. The Samaritan woman comes towards the light when she enters ever more deeply into dialogue with the Lord. As a result, she decides to abandon her disordered life and to announce the Messiah to the inhabitants of her village. They too are drawn by the light because after meeting the Lord and listening to him, they begin to believe in him. Their faith is not based upon the woman's testimony, but on their own experience of the word of salvation. But it also happens that the Lord's own disciples cannot see beyond the external circumstances of the encounter. The master who stops to talk with a woman alone and at the place loaded with all biblical memories. For it is the same well at which Jacob met his future bride. But above all, the sin manifests the Lord Jesus as the water and life and the true light. His action reveals his desire, his thirst, that all men be saved. It is the same thirst that Jesus will experience on the cross, as John describes later in the Gospel. The thirst of Jesus cannot be satisfied with a sponge socket with vinegar, but only by the will of the Father. His will it is that through the cross the doors of death will be opened, allowing us to in enter into the joy of the resurrection. The same dynamic underlies the passage of the Act of the Apostles, which tell us about the aftermath of Stephen's martyrdom, that which is, from a human perspective, only a persecution becomes an occasion of testimony. The risen Lord not only passes through walls to meet the disciples on Easter Day, but he overcomes distances, boundaries, and every obstacle, so that the gospel be open also to the Greeks and pagans. Barnabas, who goes to find out what was happening in Antioch, rejoices to see how powerful grace is operating. He then set off to look for Saul in Tarsus and to bring him to the great capital city of the East at this time. The Lord lights is spreading over the Greeks. Saul comes to guard the light in the sense that after experiencing his conversion and his baptism, he enters the Christian community more decisively and begins that great mission for which he is known to all of us. In Antioch, disciples were first called Christians. Dear brothers and sisters, celebrating the, this divine liturgy with you today is a cause of great, of great joy, especially in light of the fact that your eparchy is dedica dedicated to the apostles Peter and Paul, entrusting ourselves to the intercession, we are invited to follow their footsteps and to become ever more like them. If we bear the name of Christians, we do so by virtue of our baptism. This common characteristic precedes any distinctions between the churches, as you can see with, you, with your own eyes. 
looking at the, at the altar, as your bishop remembered, with me are Chaldean, Maronite, and Melkite bishops. But we are all Christians and belong to the one Church of Christ. This is our pride. Sadly, at the Greek Catholic Church in Ukraine, you have encountered over the years many occasions of suffering. An account of your bond with the set of the Apostle Peter. Just slightly over 25 years ago, in your home country, as in the other Easter European countries, the Church, it can be said, came out of the catacombs. Your Church has had occasion to experience that despite the darkness that surrounds nation, despite the darkness of people's hearts, which can lead to condemnation, persecution, and violence against those who should be brothers by virtue of baptism. Despite all this, the light of Christ is stronger. It cannot be extinguished by, by any, any human strength or power, and sooner or later it brings us to the light. I remember, for example, the privilege which was mine to accompany St. John Paul II on his memorable visit to Ukraine in 2001 for the beatification of some of your martyrs, including Bishop Mikita Budka. And I cannot think without emotion of my visit to Kazakhstan in September 2013, when I was able to visit the gulags where some of these blessed men received their martyrdom. Let us pray on this day all together, pleading that the day of peace come quickly with an end to violence of every kind. During a conversation with the Apostolic Nuncio in Kiev, Pope Francis took the paper on which has written a prayer for peace composed by Ukrainian children, children who for three years has been, had been living under continual bombardment. The Holy Father say, say, I will put the knot with the prayers of the Ukrainian children under the statue of St. Joseph so that I can always be praying to God for them, even, even when I sleep. We know well now how much the Holy Father Francis has the situation of your motherland in heart. So much so that he broke <coughs> the curtain of silence and dusked for an extraordinary collection to be taken up among the churches of Europe so as to provide aid and solidarity to the many people cast into poverty by this unjust war. We, we know that the first martyrdom to which you are subjected is that of international silence. We know that for those who do not love Ukraine, victory would be its separation and division. The Holy See is convinced of the importance of respect for territorial integrity and for the necessity of the necessity of observing international law. The Holy Father's initiative was a concrete gesture of aid and encouragement. 
Let us in turn show our gratitude by supporting with, within with our prayers. <coughs> Pope Frank Francis has just completed his great pilgrimage to Fatima to entrust once again the, the destiny of humanity to the Holy Virgin Mary. I am certain that this will be the same, same sentiment, sentiment that will guide so many of your countrymen <coughs> Excuse me. next July on the occasion of the great national pilgrimage to the shrine of Savarnitsa, to the Virgin Mother of God, venerated in that holy place, let us entrust ourselves with the word which St. John Paul II addressed to the icon of the Virgin of Savarnitsa upon his arrival in Ukraine. O oh, Blessed Virgin Mary, Madonna of Savarnitsa, I thank you for the gift of finding myself in the Ras of Kiev, from where the light of the Gospel has spread throughout the region. Before you are mir miraculous icon, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, I entrust to you my apostolic journey to Ukraine. Holy Mother of God, extend your maternal mantle, mantle over all Christians and all men and women of goodwill who live in this great nation. Guide them to your Son, Jesus, who is for all the way, the trust, and the life. And now, allow me to finish with my personal expression of admiration for you, dear brothers from Ukraine, dear brothers and sisters from Ukraine. We admire you very much, and we admire you very much because you, because are, you are a great people with so great progress, but especially because you are proud of your Catholic faith. And tell me, and tell you in your hearts, what is the problems of me, of my life, of the, my family, of uh, Ukraine, of Australia? What kind of problems can be resist to the Catholic faith? Then I finish calling you with the words of Barnabas when he arrived to Antioch. He exhorted them to remain faithful to the Lord. This is the key for solutions in Ukraine, in uh, South America, in Australia, in the States. If we have our life very entrusted to our faith in Jesus Christ, no problem we will have even if they are persecuting and giving us, us the kingdom of evil. Amen. Promove, <laughs> Milnas Bozes will let him a lossy toy, Mal must be with Sluka, he pomilu. 
also pray for our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most blessed patriarch, Sviatoslav, for his eminence, Leonardo, for his excellency, Adolfo, for his grace, Emile, for his grace, Antoine, for our God-loving bishop, Peter, for those who serve and serve this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and all our brethren in Christ. Molmoza Bohombe Rezni Narodna za pravinje za sebisko. Molamo za tot presutni nude, šoro šike vite be vleke be hata me loste, za te šo tvora na me lustinju, i za šif proslavne kristijom. So that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
Let us, Mr. Mr. Present the cherubim, sing, sing to the praise holy hymn, live you in Trinity, now lay us in our cares of life. Let us, Mr. Mr. Present the cherubim, sing to the praise holy live you in Trinity, now lay us in our cares of life. Vyšifos proslavných christian, nekej pomnej hospok pokud často svojím, zlazenění povšel čas nevíkej věčně. Tvůj bývojí pěstku po našeho kér Petra, nechaj poměne hospod Bohu sárčte svým, zauždej nyní po všech čas, May the Lord God remember his kingdom, his holiness, upon Francis, the Pope of Rome, and Patriarch, Svetoslav, Reverend, Priesthood, the Aconite, Religious Orders, Noble Founders, and Benefacts of His Holy Church, and all you Orthodox Christians, now and always, and forever.
Together with your most holy, good and life-giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Merci. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. Dvere v premudrosti budmo uvažni. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. stand well, let us stand with fear, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation.
Благодать вас по нашего Иисуса Христа, любовь Бога и причастие Святого Духа, да хай будет со всеми вами. Гуру поднесем сердца. Благодарим Господа. and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you everywhere in your domain. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, always existing and ever the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all us into being from nothing. Into being and after we fell, you raised us up again. We do not cease doing everything until we led us to heaven and granted us the divine mercy, a kingdom. For this we give you thanks, you only begotten Son, and your, Son and your Holy Spirit. Spirit. For, For all, all things, things which we know and do not know, know. the benefits we bestowed upon, upon us manifest and hidden. hidden. We thank, thank you also for this liturgy, liturgy which you have deigned to accept from our hands, hands even though they stand, stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim, seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, hovering aloft in their wings. Перемогшим пистом спивающим в клетчике завающим и промовляющим. With these blessed powers, O Master, Master who now came, we, we too cry out and say, you Holy are you, truly, truly all holy, you, your only you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, truly, holy are you, truly, you, truly all holy, 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 and magnificent is your glory. Give your only begotten, only begotten Son, whoever believes in him, may I perish, but ever the lasting life. And he came and fulfilled in a whole divine plan for our sake on the night that he was given over, rather himself off for the life of the world. He took his bread and his holy spirit, he made his hands deep. Gave thanks, he gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and broken. Gave thanks, blessed, he gave it to his only disciples and gave it to his holy saying, disciples and apostles, saying, <coughs> Take, eat, this, this is, is my body, which is broken for you. For the forgiveness of sins. <coughs> Drink of it, all of you. This, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, the salutary command and all that was done for us across the tomb and the resurrection of the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting in the right hand, and the second and glorious coming.
O su blavo za prišti u prečestu, priblavo svenu slavnu, vladeći će bo ororec i presnu djivu Mariju. Najperže pomine Gospode Svetišo Zelenskoho, Arhireja Francisko Papa Rimskoho, Zablaženišo Patriarha Svetoslava, Kaj bude mi osvoljka boja spasa naša Isusa Hrista so vsime vame. Vsi svetej pomnoše, sče še v miri, ospodi vi pomlimšu. Svetni, čestni dary, ospredi vi pomlimšo. Ospredi pomlimšo. Sob, človek, ljubiš blok nas, pri naši vse te nebesni duhovni, si si zirtovni, jak premis pa duhovni, si slav nam bozesnu, blahodada svetovo duha, pomlimšo. delivered from all tribulation, wrath and misfortune, let us pray to Lord. Help and save and mercy and protect us, O God, by your grace.
that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For the forgiveness and remissions of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. For all that is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may spend the rest of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Christian end to our lives, one that is painless, unashamed and peaceful, and for a good defense of the awesome tribunal of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Having asked for unity of the faith and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life to Christ our God. И сподобен Аспаде, кози се ли уси на судно змите, призватат бен бесно, боча и мовете. Твоє є садство і села і слава, Отче і Сене Святого Духа, нені повзак час і на віки вічні. Bow your heads to the Lord. Благодати и щедрота ме чоловека любим и денродно сына Твоя, за кем Ты благословен и сын, пресетим благим животворным Твоим духом, ныне и по всяк часу на веке вечни. Будьмо важні, святе є святим.
even confess to Julie. Confess it truly, truly Christ, Son of the living God, who came to the world to save sinners, who I am the first, accepting this day as a Son of God as a particular your mystical supper, for I'll not tell your mystery to your enemies, nor give you the th kiss that did Judas, but like a thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May it partake of your holy mystery for the Lord, not, not for judgment or condemnation, but for healing of soul and body. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, who cleanses my sins and have mercy on me, have mercy on us and save us, for you forgive me, O Lord. Deacons approach. the fear of God and with faith Christ was Christ 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 understand Christ 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 Of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ for life everlasting. Amen. Seven of God protects the precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ for life everlasting. Amen. Just. <coughs> Seven of God protects the precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Seven of God protects the precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Jesus 
servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious, precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious, most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God Lydia partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God Mary partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ for life everlasting. Amen. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ.
Спаси Боже, лидей Твои, и благослови сладкоемство Твое. Благослови Бог нас завжди і по всяк час, на віки вічні, амінь, Христос воскрес. Body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God partakes of the Christian. Seven are good. Stand aright, having received the divine, the holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, and life giving awesome mysteries of Christ, let us rightly give thanks to the Lord. Wait, they didn't give me a piece of bread. Oh, come, come, come. Yes, I come down. Help and save, have mercy and protect us, O God, God, by your grace. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Takes of the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for life everlasting. Amen. So let us pray to the Lord of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God protects the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Son of God protects the precious most holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Protect the of your of God protects the precious and most holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for life everlasting. Amen. I must catch up with you.
And the end of this so beautiful liturgy, I like to thank all of you, dear brothers and sisters. I like to thank the choir, send the children, the servants, but in the person of your bishop, I like to thank him especially, your pastor, is the representative of Christ between, between you. And now, in the name of the Holy Father Francis, I will give him the medal, silver medal of his pontificate, to you, Your Excellency, for all this so beloved epargy. And And for all of you, I like to offer the blessing of the Holy Father Francis. For you, who have participated to this divine liturgy, and through you, to all your relatives, all those who you bring in your heart, especially the suffering, the old men and women, the children, and all who are in sufferings in body and in mind. The blessing of the Lord be upon, upon you with his grace and love for the mankind always, now and forever and ever. Христос, що воскрес із мертвих, смерті і смерть подолав, і тим, що в рубах життя дарував існий Бог наш, по тем, що за своїй матері, ситуація нашого золотого архіпівського снаграда, і всі святих милий спасе нас, як благий і чоловіко любе. Святий Мусулянську архірею Франциску Папа Римського, of our most, our most holy universal pontiff Francis, the Pope of Rome, grant him many years. Christos was Christ. Патріарху Святославу Святого Співної Літа Христос Воскрес! Христос Воскрес! Кардинал Леонардо грант їм мені рік и Христос воскрес!
To our visitors, uh, our Apostolic Nuncio, Dalfo, uh, our Bishop uh, Antoine, and Bishop Nonus, uh, uh, grant them many years and uh, many blessings. I Christos was Christ. Сьому областю ще нечу ма нашим ученим і всім отцям, братам нашим, всім православним християнам сотворює Господи. Нога я літа. Without it. That's all right. 